welcome back to my channel i know i know if you could tell by the title you are probably like what a makeup video seriously yes i'm coming with a makeup video i know it's been forever since i brought a makeup video to my channel but i was feeling it today i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me and i've been getting these boxy charm boxes for like the last six to seven months so yeah your girl is ready to do some makeup and i need to put some of this makeup to use that i've been buying over the last six to seven months so we're starting off now i'm gonna prep my lips and i'm just using this fresh um sugar the fresh sugar lip balm and this is in the caramel scent y'all this lip balm smells amazing it really does it's not really, I wouldn't buy this again because it literally does nothing for your lips. Nothing more than like Vaseline could do. But the scent is what got me. So I went ahead and bought this and I like it but I won't repurchase it because it was $18. And who got time for $18 lip balm that don't do anything special. So nope, won't be repurchasing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started y'all. Starting out with this Kuiper's Beauty Antioxidant Serum. This is one of the items that came in my BoxyCharm of course. So a lot of these items will be from BoxyCharm because that's why I have so much makeup to review and play with. So yeah, let's see how this feels under my makeup. I don't like the scent of this, it smells kind of medicinal like I don't really like that but we're going to try it out anyway like what can it hurt and I'm just going in with a little more for my forehead but y'all I've been on a skincare like a skincare kick lately so boxycharm has been coming in real clutch for me and it has been providing me with a lot of my skincare needs so your girl's really happy about that. Next, I'm going in with this Baby Skin Primer by Maybelline. This is an oldie but goodie. Like, it's a drugstore primer. It works good. I like the feel of this. I like that silky, like, silicone feel that it puts on your face. So, definitely one of my favorites. Let's talk a little bit. This is going to be a chit-chat. Get ready with me. So... Let's just do a little chit chat and while I get ready, y'all. Um, awesome. this is exciting for me because I haven't done makeup in a good minute. Um, especially not like YouTube wise. But I haven't been doing makeup in a really long time. So your girl's really excited about this video. And I'm just using this precisely my brows by benefit. Um, so this is like replaced my Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil. I love this pencil so much more. I have been getting BoxyCharm for about six, seven months now. And I stopped doing the videos on my channel, like the unboxings, and I moved them over to my Instagram stories because I felt like um, they weren't getting really good views on my YouTube channel. So I just kind of assumed that it may not be something that y'all want to see. So let me know if y'all want me to start back unboxing my boxy charms on my channel. I don't mind doing it, but I also don't mind doing it on my YouTube, I mean on my Instagram stories because it's real quick and just pop on there when my box come in. And that way I get it out sooner. Um, basically, I'll get on my Instagram story the day I pick the box up out my mailbox and you know, go ahead and bring it to y'all. But when I'm doing it on my YouTube channel, I ain't gonna lie, it might take me a few um, days or so to get the video up. But all in all, I love, absolutely love BoxyCharm, still loving it. I see a lot of people giving them bad reviews or whatever because of changes. People really don't like change and I get it. I'm one of those people. I'm not a big person that's like woo change I love it but at the same time if it's for the better it's for the better like who's complaining about getting more things or better things but so they did increase the price on the boxy charm base box to $25 a month so it is like a $4 increase 
but it's not really bad at all because they are giving you a bigger box with bigger items essentially so i don't mind paying four more dollars for the option to have bigger items so 25 dollars hands down still does not compare to the prices of some of these things that we use or they give us in the box i'm just outlining my brow because honestly i need to get my eyebrows threaded really bad and i know my i know aunt jackie Ina here on youtube She's like so against um, eyebrows before makeup. I'm still in this gang. Like, what do y'all do? Let me know down below. Do y'all do y'all eyebrows before your foundation and everything or after? I still like to clean mine up, but still keep it natural looking. So I believe you can have like a sculpted brow and still have a natural looking eyebrow. I do like the BoxyCharm boxes like I was saying that I'm on a skincare kick and they really have been coming through for skincare for me like they've been providing me with some amazing options um, like I got the glow recipe um, pineapple serum in my last box and I'm telling y'all that stuff I wanted it already and I'm really happy about it so come through BoxyCharm but yeah, y'all do any of y'all subscribe to BoxyCharm? Any of my subscribers down below? Let me know, do y'all subscribe to BoxyCharm? So next, y'all, I'm just going to conceal some of these um, dark spots on my face. Um, I've been getting some little dry patches. As y'all may know before, I've told y'all I get these on my face. But I'm going to conceal some of them before the foundation. Overall, I definitely like BoxyCharm. I still will be, um, I still will be subscribing for a while so I build up my collection. I think eventually I'm going to have too much makeup from it and I'm not really going to, um, need to keep subscribing to it because like just in the six seven months that i've had them i feel like i've gotten six or seven palettes so like almost every month you're going to get a palette and i don't wear eyeshadow like that to get a palette every single month it's really just not a point for me to have a palette like every month so honestly speaking i'm going to give some of them away i'm probably going to give my sister one some stuff like that because she wants to get into eyeshadow and I'll probably give it to her because I'm not going to use seven eyeshadow palettes. Like, I barely use the ones I already have and I bought, you know, on my own. So, but I just blended out that concealer that I put on my face. Um, I'm going to go on top of it with foundation. But I gave it like a one layer of coverage. Then I'm going over top with my foundation. But I want to use these brushes. Another thing that came in the BoxyCharm palette. These, I mean... In the BoxyCharm box. These came in my BoxyCharm for this month of November. And it's two brushes. Like a bigger one and then a smaller one. I'm going to use the smaller one today. And I'm going to put my foundation on with it. And the foundation that I'm using is going to be this Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. Because my skin is dry, I'm going to try to use this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Dewy and Smooth foundation. And I'm in the color 330 Toffee. And um, I don't know. We're going to see how I like this. I think I've only used this foundation like one time. I'm going to pour it on the back of my hand. Because I think it's like an olive -y tone. Like an olive type of undertone. And I'm more of like a warm undertone. Like I wasn't really sure about this. But I'm going to give it a try. And we gonna see what we working with. So, yeah. I've been really wanting to get into a nice foundation for the, like, winter time. I feel like this matches me well. I don't think it doesn't match. I think it's a good match. So, I can work with this. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna like the formula, though. But, we gonna see. But... I've been wanting to find me a good foundation for the winter. I really want to try the hydrating 
foundation um by fenty beauty like i have the matte one and honestly i should have never bought that one with my skin type because it really does not do me any good with having it it makes it looks terrible on me like after a while like i put it on and it looks okay but like when it sits in my skin it really honestly looks terrible honestly speaking so i don't think i'm going to continue with that too much I don't know how I feel about this BoxyCharm brush. It's real densely packed, like packed tight. So it's not moving around a lot, but I'm gonna work with it and see how much use I can get out of it. I don't think it's a bad brush. I just, eh, it's not the type of brush I would reach for for foundation. Probably should have used a bigger one, but we gonna see. So for my forehead, I always have problems with my forehead because my forehead is darker than the rest of my face, but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to blend up into my hairline with this. not look that bad. Like I'm looking in natural light and it doesn't look that bad. So it's workable, definitely workable, especially when I put like contour and everything on. So next I'm going to be using this Milani. Let me show y'all. Yep, I'm going to be using this Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Found, um, I want to call it the Foundation Concealer. And this is in the shade 150 Natural Sand. And this is a color that I chose for like my under eye. I could have went a little bit lighter, honestly. The girl is back with the makeup. I feel so crazy doing this, y'all. Like, I feel like I haven't done a video where I was like actually um doing foundation and highlight and concealing and all of that in like years i feel like it's been years honestly it probably has been it's been a minute so yeah y'all this concealer blended out to like literally match my foundation so i'm gonna go grab a lighter one and i'll be right back so i'm back and i just grabbed this locket um concealer by Kat Von D and this is in the shade cool it's just like a little sample probably got from Sephora you know with my points or something like that but it's a lot lighter and it looks better for like a more dramatic highlight so we're gonna work with this and we're gonna blend that out so next we're gonna go ahead and set this stuff so that it does not um crack and crease on us so um i'm gonna be using this becca this is the hydra mist set and refresh powder and this basically just reminds me of a dupe for the laura mercier powder so it's just like a translucent powder and y'all i got my brushes so i can pick one to set this with but look how cute look at how cute it says wake up and make up. I got this at TJ Maxx. My favorite, my favorite store. So I'm going to grab this brush. This is one of the Bidiac brushes. I won this at the Blogger Exchange. And it's one of those um, subscription brush places. And I'm just going to pat this powder on my eye and under my eye. So we're going to do an eyeshadow look. I'm pretty nervous about this because first of all, I've never been a real eyeshadow wearing girl. And then on top of that, I have not done makeup in a few months. So I'm going to see what kind of eyeshadow look I can come up with with this palette. And the palette that I'm going to use is the Celestial Thunder palette by Dominique Cosmetics. Again, y'all, I just got my November boxy charm last night, so a lot of this stuff is from the November box. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this brush. This is from Beauty Creations, and this is like a little mermaid brush set. My cousin got me this, so I don't really know the name of this brush, but it's like a blending brush. So I'm going into this color right here, Zero Gravity, and I'm gonna tap a little bit off, and we're gonna go straight into our crease with that color.
and I'm just blending it out. Let me zoom in a little bit, y'all. So I think that's better. Yeah, I'm going back into zero gravity and just blending it out in that crease area and a little bit above because I have hooded eyelids and I learned from Alyssa Ashley that you should go a little bit higher because of your hooded eyelids and we typically don't do that. But yeah, we're going to go in with zero gravity and it's like a pretty purpley gray color. So I'm just going to keep it moving and do the other eye. The crease is done. So next I'm taking a little packer brush and I'm going into Black Matter. And this is like a purpley glitter shade. Y'all just got this look inspiration from a YouTuber. Her name is Australia E. I'm going to link her channel down below. She does really bomb makeup looks y'all. Real bomb makeup looks and I like her channel. Um, I just discovered her, but she did a look very similar to this. I believe she used these exact two colors, and I got some inspo from her, so I'm giving her her credit, and her look was bomb, so I'm going to hopefully see if I can kind of mimic the look that she did. Go a little higher than normal, like I usually just do my lid space, but I'm going to kind of come a tad bit higher. Again, like I said, because of my hooded lids, I want this to show up. But I got a lot of fallout right here on my face, y'all, from this black matter. So, you are getting some fallout. Maybe I should have tapped. But we're going to see. In the area of any look I've ever done. I think that um, zero gravity isn't showing up on me like I would want. So, I'm going to go back into it. Same brush, same blending brush. I'm going to go back into that and like clean up the crease and try to deepen it a little bit more. I've learned that if you don't blend, then your stuff will look a mess. So, I'm trying to find me a looser. That one is not the best shader blending brush. I'm trying to find something a little bit looser. Like this one that comes in an Urban Decay Smoky, Naked Smoky palette. It's a really, really fluffy brush like that. So, I'm going to try to go back and blend with this. And it it has some... No, I don't have any product on it. Look dirty, but it's not. So, I'm just going to do an even smoother blend with that. Okay. Well, that's what I got so far, y'all. I don't know how I'm feeling. It's a little... I think it's a patch on my eye. Yeah. I, don't, I think that's on my eye. Alright, y'all. So, this is the eyeshadow look that I have so far. I'm not really sure about it. But I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to just keep it going. Because that's the part of makeup. You just kind of got to keep going. I'm not really liking this look of my face. It's looking real ashy. So this is a part of makeup. I think I'm going to leave all this in. It's just a part of doing this. Especially when I haven't done it in a while. So let me warm my face up with some Fenty Beauty. Um, this is the Coco Naughty. Try to warm my face up some because I'm really not feeling this like Michael Jackson look I'm got going on right now so I'm gonna warm it up I'm not gonna give up on this look normal me would have just been like oh this is terrible stop but I'm gonna try it anyway none of little bronzer can't fix that puts a lot of color back into my face not give up that's a part of life sometimes stuff ain't gonna work out like you want but you gotta keep it moving so, we learning life lessons and contouring this video. <laughs> like, it is what it is. One last step on the eyes. I'm going to go into this um, zero gravity again. And I'm just taking this Luxie 246 brush. This is a precision crease brush. But I'm going to actually use it to go up under my eye and smoke it out. Like so. I'm just smoking out under my eye. This is how the lash look. 
It's an Ardell lash. I can't remember the name. I think it's like a mink something something. But I'm going to pop these on and then I'll be right back. So I'm back. I did put on my lashes and did some bottom mascara. So I am all set in that department. Now I just need to finish off my face. I'm taking another one of these um, Beauty Act brushes. It's just like a big fluffy powder brush. And I'm going into my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I've seen this um, technique from another YouTuber. And basically when you're finished, you just buff your powder all over your face to kind of like melt everything together. So we gonna see how that works. Cause we had a lot of fallout from that black eyeshadow, black matter, but we gonna work it out. So, and I take my powder down my, down my neck a little bit. So, and let's not forget our forehead. So I think besides like highlighter, I believe we're done with this makeup look. Let me see, highlighter and, uh, oh, yeah, know what I wanted to do. So I'm gonna go back into the Celestial Thunder and I'm gonna take Eternal Light, which is another glittery shade. This one right here. And I'm gonna pop that in the inner, in the inner corners. Ooh, child. I usually would've did this before eyeshadow. I mean, before lashes. So, I'm going to go right into my Becca highlighter. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter in Chocolate. I think this is Geo, Geo, Geo. I'm not sure, but I'm going to just use my finger. And I'm going to highlight with this. And it's a beautiful shade, y'all. Beautiful. Look at that. Blend it on out. This blends out beautifully. I actually am a fan of this highlighter. I've never had a Becca highlighter, but I've had I have some highlighters in my collection that don't melt down and don't actually blend out to anything. Even on my nose, I went in heavy and I'm blending it out perfectly. So I'm a fan of this chocolate. And I wasn't sure if this was gonna work for me, but this definitely does work for me. So that's it, y'all. I'm gonna spray my face and I'm done with this look. Oh, no, I'm not. I gotta do a lip. I'm crazy. Okay, so we got purple eyes. We could still go bold on the lip. Let me find a lip color. I was thinking because I'm doing purple on the eyes, I was gonna go neutral, but I don't wanna go neutral. I'm not really a neutral girl, so. I found this little mini Tristique lip, lippy that I have. And this is just like a mini matte lip crayon. And it's in the color Belize Bordeaux. So let's do this on the lips. And I'm just gonna use this to outline itself. And I do like it. I like this a lot with this look. And that's the finished look, y'all. I have the purple eyeshadow and then the pink lips is bold. So I'm just gonna spray my face down and we're all set. So I'm gonna be using the Iconic London Set Spray. And we're just gonna give ourselves a good spray. And that's it, y'all. I'm done. I actually have my hair in a ponytail, and I can't decide if I want to wear, like, the bun with the down in the back or I want to let the ponytail down. 
I originally wasn't planning to wear the bun up, but I just had it like that so my hair wouldn't be in my face for the makeup tutorial. But what do y'all think? I'm gonna show you two ways and you just tell me which one you like the best. So the bun look, or let's take this out. Just holding it by a bobby pin. And this is the ponytail look. I think the ponytail look is giving me straight 70s with the bold um, eyeshadow. And, you know, I, I have like bold lip, bold eyeshadow. And then this is falling into a side ponytail. But this is a get ready with me. So I can finish off with my hair, y'all. What y'all think? y'all so that's it for this video i am in love with my look so far i think i did a really good job on my hair and my makeup it's a work in progress but i'm liking it so far um i'm feeling very 70-ish with the bold makeup look and then the ponytail so if you guys like these type of videos definitely let me know down below so that i can continue to bring you guys these type of videos and i am going to be doing more makeup so definitely check out BoxyCharm guys and then make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I put new videos up. They will be coming. They will be coming. But until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.